I already have a first impression of the new Zelda game, Tears of the Kingdom. And I am excited to show you guys a bit of the game. I will show you all of the starting abilities that you get in the beginning of the game. I will touch on the story in the beginning of the game. There will be no spoilers for anything other than the beginning of the game. So Tears of the Kingdom it is finally here and I have to say this is and has been the most anticipated game for everyone this year. I think I can say that on behalf of everyone, <laughs> at least on behalf of me. Lol. And I have now played for about five hours. So it's definitely a first impressions video. Maybe I will make more videos, but here we go. Let's start with the story. So it starts out with a story that I am already interested in. With Link and Zelda walking together in the caverns underneath Hyrule Castle. Why they decided to do so in the first place, that is not clear to me. Zelda seems to have cut her hair since last time I saw her. And Link has a full health and stamina bar, making it pretty Pretty clear that this is taking place after Breath of the Wild. They come across some old murals and unfortunately this thing comes to life. Link's arm gets hurt, Zelda is cast down into an abyss, the entire castle lifts off the ground and then Link wakes up in a cave, as he does with a new arm that originally belonged to a Zonai called Roru. <laughs> I want to say Roru. And he is now finding himself up in the sky, like on floating islands up there, way up there. And then the game begins. <laughs> Now, gameplay-wise, Link controls pretty much as we are used to from Breath of the Wild with the jump and the attack and the weapons breaking, all of that, even shield surfing, so you will be very familiar with how he controls. Basically, the entire game so far in the first seconds feels like Breath of the Wild. You are going to be very familiar. Pretty much feels and looks the same, except for maybe the graphics are a tiny bit better. So this floating island that you start out on, it reminds me of the Great Plateau that we saw in Breath of the Wild, which works as more or less a tutorial area for the beginning of the game. So you are gonna get that feeling. I got that feeling. I mean, with weapons on the ground and some shrines that introduces some new abilities involving your new arm. One of the new abilities is the Ultra Hand, where you can both lift objects and glue them together. I'm already kind of mind blown by the possibilities that this is bringing to the table. Imagine all the YouTube videos with crazy creations. <laughs> I can already see that happening. You can glue together logs, fans, sails, you can create a raft, bridges, a super long log for climbing on, which I had to do in the cold area of this starting island. I mean, you name it. Another arm ability is the fusing, which means that you can fuse items onto your weapon, shield and arrows. I mean, you can attach a stone to your sword and mining becomes easy peasy. Attach a keys ball to your shield because why not? This just simply calls for a ton of experimenting. I'm gonna now have to attach everything to everything just to see what happens. And to be honest, the gluing objects together, that required some getting used to. With tons of trials and errors and combining them incorrectly and I mean, some puzzles have several solutions and I tried to make a bridge before I saw that cart laying around which I was actually supposed to be using. So I feel like there are several options and ways to solve puzzles. <laughs> The cooking is much like how it was in Breath of the Wild and you have to create several cold resistant dishes before you go up there in the cold mountain area. I can see how this is where people are going to give up, get demotivated in the early hours of this game because I actually died of cold. <laughs> This could be a frustration point. Another ability is the ascend ability, making you able to fly up and through whatever is above you. That also makes for some fun puzzles. I was a bit scared when I tried to fly on one of the bird things for my first time, but it worked. <laughs> the 
the last ability that you get in the starting area is the ability to rewind and that is also for solving a ton of puzzles. I'm not gonna lie, the Great Sky Island location was not my favorite location ever. Actually, for my first hour in Tears of the Kingdom, I was thinking to myself that this doesn't feel like a Zelda game. I don't get that Zelda feel yet, <laughs> but I pushed through. And boy was I happy when I was finished with the Sky Island and I dove down below to the open world. <laughs> I have been avoiding gameplay videos, pretty much all information about this game. I've been avoiding that so much. And to be honest, I wasn't sure there was gonna even be like an open world down there. I thought originally in my head that it was only going to be floating islands in the sky sort of open world. But no, you have that Hyrule down there. And I found a horse and the world opens up. And that concludes where I ended now to go down here and record my first impression. <laughs> so I am saying that if you find this game a bit hard to get into, maybe you have the same feelings as I did up there in the sky, I'm gonna say you have to promise me that you at least push through until you get to horsey. This game is probably not for everyone. Uh, I was thinking I don't think it is for casual gamers. It could actually be a bit hard for some people, but it is definitely a game for me. I think this is what I will be playing now every day for several weeks. So if you don't see me in a couple of weeks, you know where I am. I have a ton of stuff that I want to unbox, um, sort of unbox. Nintendo bag seller sent over a few things. We have a Tears of the Kingdom t-shirt. Tears of the Kingdom hoodie. I love hoodies. Hello. The physical game, but I bought the digital one. So now I have it digital. I just had to, <laughs> had to. This is the type of game that I want to have digital. But you know, now I have it physical also. So you can, you know, I can display that. Thank you. A new notebook. I'm currently using the God of War notebook. So I will be using this one after this one is filled out. Lol. A Zelda Tears of the Kingdom gold coin. Pretty cute. And a drinking bottle. And not even to mention this awesome tote bag. Thank you so much, Bergsala, for always sending me stuff. I have one more thing. It's pretty big. Uh, a backpack. Is it a backpack? <clears throat> I can put Snurri into this one. Another thing is that I've gotten my custom-made fixture S2, guys. Remember when I talked about these guys last? I was loving the fixture S1, but then I got the OLED, so now they have made an S2 so that it fits for your OLED. And I even have John Riggs' stickers. I think you can soon purchase my sticker set. This is the John Riggs sticker set. Uh, if you purchase the Isha Gaming one, you can peel off the sticker if you get tired of my face. But it is so cute. It's also for the regular Switch model. Awesome stuff. And a bag. Essential. So you have to let me know what you think of Zelda Breath of the Wild. <laughs> what is your first impression of Tears of the Kingdom? Are you playing it? Are you waiting? Maybe you're not getting it. Leave a comment down below and I will try to respond to a lot of you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Hit like on my video before you leave. Before you click away. Hit like. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns.